Hi Libra, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a quick peek into your romantic love life for the week of May 2023. I already did your May Love Monthly, so this is just gonna be a snapshot of what you can expect for the week ahead, all right? So let's begin. Spirit, who is heading towards Libra this week with romantic intentions? How will they truly feel about Libra? What's their true intentions with Libra this week? Their actions, and how does Libra feel about this person? And if there's any complications or challenges between these two together this week please let me know and then the outcome and Libra's advice Libra is open-minded to the messages you have in store for them today as long as the messages shared are for Libra's highest and greatest good two more shuffles one two let's rock this deck for my lovely Libras okay so the person heading towards you this week how will they truly feel about you we have the Hierophant. This is Major Arcana for Taurus. Their intentions with you this week. The Moon. Major Arcana for Pisces, but as a reader, I also see it as Cancerian energy. Their intentions is to lie to themselves about something, and it's connecting to their emotional side. Because when you look at this card, Libra, you see a man staring at a mirror of his reflection but what's reflecting back at him is the moon which is telling me that someone intends to lie to themselves about either how they truly feel about you or what they want to share with you there's some sort of situation going on between your person and themselves this week but with their feelings for you being the hair font it's like maybe someone's lying to themselves about whether or not you are the one for them Maybe they weren't ready to meet anybody. Something is going on like that. I'll find out, but it's two major arcanas. Some sort of major shift happening for your person. What's their actions towards you? The Hermit, another major arcana, and this is for Virgo. Your person seems to be learning something about the connection between the two of you this week. And it feels like they're learning from a very intuitive space. Okay? So very silent with you this week perhaps, or they've been silent with you. There's just this energy of this person being in solitude right now, trying to understand their feelings for you and the connection. But with the hair font being their feelings, this is someone that already feels committed to you in some way. Or they're committed to a challenge, or they're committed to learning something from you. As you see this person working with a whiteboard, you know, learning something and taking notes. It's like they're learning something from this connection with you. Something major is taking place and they're trying to figure out what that is while staring at that moon. They've got some fears. They've got some, something is going on here. What's your feelings for this person, Libra? The Magician, another major arcana, all right? And the Magician is ruled by planet Mercury and we are in Mercury retrograde right now, which tells me that this person is having trouble making sense of the energy that's coming through, wondering if it's them lying to themselves about how they feel or something just deceiving them. But with your feelings being the Magician, which is Gemini Virgo energy, you're feeling confident that you and this person could really create something special together. It's just that this person, I don't know, something's going on with them. Or their, inten their intentions is to keep their feelings a secret right now for some reason. I'll clarify, I get nosy. What's the challenge for the two of you this week? The Fool, another major arcana. You're dealing with a soulmate, hands down. To see this many major arcanas, you're dealing with a soulmate. There's some sort of major lesson happening between you and this person. Doesn't mean that you're gonna be with this person for the rest of your life, and it also does not mean that you're not gonna be with this person for the rest of your life, Libra. What it's telling me is you did not meet this person on accident. You are here to teach this person something about themselves because they were either wearing a false mask and now it's time to take that mask off, or they're teaching you something about yourself or you guys are collectively helping each other out in a way to help get yourselves moving along in a new direction with that fool energy. But since someone is deceiving themselves, the fool is in the blockage, which is someone not taking a chance, someone not taking a risk, someone not taking, you know, a lighthearted approach to something. Someone's taking something too seriously. Wow, if I get another major arcana, whew, your potential outcome with this person this week? The Empress, another major arcana, and this is for Libra and Taurus. I'm like speechless, like, I can't even talk. I can't even say the word speechless. 
rewind. I'm friggin' speechless right now, Libra. I've got one more card to pull, and if it's a major arcana, I'm stopping this reading. <laughs> I'm kidding. I just need to collect my bearings. Hold on. Oh my goodness. For the outcome to be Empress, that's so freaking beautiful. The Empress is all about creating something. It's, it's also telling me that some of you may have known this person for nine months with the repeated nine coming in. Well, because it shows a pregnant woman. Um, something is needing a little bit more time before it's ready to be born. Leo got something similar. You might be connecting with a Leo or you have that in your chart. Someone's lying to them about their feelings or trying to not show you their true selves, but you can't, you can't hide your true self to for too long. You know, Amy Schumer says it perfectly. People can only hide crazy underneath the carpet for three months. So not saying that this person's hiding a crazy side of them, but maybe they're not being completely authentic with you and you may already be privy to that. But with the outcome being the Empress, it speaks a lot of growth, you know, abundance surrounding what could be a very beautiful, long lasting relationship if this person would stop lying to themselves. It's like you got someone that feels committed to you already, Hierophant, but they're lying to themselves about something. You feel confident you guys can create something magical, but someone's not taking a chance with the fool. This person's going to be a little bit quiet, needing time in solitude to really understand their emotions that they're feeling, and it could lead to, you know, some big changes, you know, some really beautiful changes. For some, there could be fertility involved. What's your advice? Page of Swords, we finally broke up the, <laughs> the major arcana. Um, your advice is to get more information. You need to find out more information from the situation before making any big decisions. Okay, what's the overall energy for the connection? Judgment, another major arcana. I, I'm lost for words right now. I don't think I've ever seen this before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight with the lovers. Eight major arcanas. I've, I, I've, I've never seen this happen in a reading before. I've Actually, I've seen it happen, but it's been a long time. I think the last time I, I saw this situation happen, it was during Scorpio's reading and Sagittarius, I think. Um, no, and Capricorn. It's It's been a minute, though. When, when I get this many major arcanas in a reading, Libra, it's telling me that the person I'm reading for, you, the, or whether you're a cross watcher or the actual Libra, it tells me that you're going through a monu monumental change in your life. And it's connecting to another person. I do have the lover's card here. It's another person involved. Okay? You know, there's some sort of spiritual lesson going through your life right now that involves another person so that you can follow through with something. But I'm also looking at this lover's card and it shows me three different hands. So I don't know if someone's needing to make a choice in love. So there could be like a secret romance happening with that moon energy. Or there's something else going on here where someone has to make a choice. And I'm looking at that judgment card and the finger being pointed outward is being reflected back at oneself. So Libra, you may be asked to take accountability for something, to look at yourself in a situation, or that's your person. Whoever's needing to make the big choice needs to look at themselves in the mirror and ask themselves, am I making the choice for my highest good, or am I making a choice for someone else's happiness? But this is a soulmate. This is a very important soulmate to you. Again, it doesn't have to be someone that you marry or anything like that, but it's telling me that there is a, a, a huge lesson attached to you and this person that you guys did not meet on accident, that there is something happening. And this is one of those connections that feel out of this world, where you feel like a magnet is pulling you guys together. Sometimes when I see the lover's card, I'll get people in my readings that say, Pattison, I was not even attracted to this person, but I felt so drawn to them. I don't know why. They're not my usual type. Or there's an age gap, a difference in race, a difference in cultural background. You just, you, it's not your normal type that you go towards, but you felt like everything was pulling you guys together. And even if you try to pull away, something snaps you back like a rubber band. You know, that's what the lover's card is. Sometimes it involves a runner chaser.
Um, I don't feel like there's anything toxic about this connection, but it is, it is, a, it is a soulmate whoever this person is. For some, this could be someone brand new with that page of cups, someone that has a crush and is struggling with understanding their feelings for you. Or someone's needing to make a choice in order to have a new start. So I'm gonna clarify, but oh my goodness, I have not seen this many major arcanas in a while. This is a very important week for you. I don't feel like this is just for this week ahead though, Libra, uh-uh. This is going through all the tourist season with that hair font. And I feel like it's gonna trickle into Gemini season with that lover's card. Yeah, I'm surprised this didn't show up in your monthly reading. What was your monthly reading? Um, I forgot. It was definitely something that someone had to say to you. Okay, so. In your person's feeling for you, Libra, we have the Hierophant. There could be a marriage involved. There could be a commitment in, in order already. Or someone's feeling committed to a lesson. Or why the Hierophant for this person's feeling for Libra? The Eight of Swords. This person's sabotaging something right now. And it's because of the lies that they're telling to themselves. They're looking at their reflection and thinking, what have I done? I have been lying to myself. I have been lying to Libra. What are my emotions trying to tell me? They're overthinking the situation. Could be another air sign you're connecting to. Ten of Cups. They're asking themselves, Spirit, why do I feel so pulled towards Libra? Why do I feel this, this familiar fa family feeling towards Libra, Ten of Cups? I don't understand it. I wasn't really looking for anything, and I don't know why I can't pull away from Libra. You know? For some of you, this person tried to end things many times. Or someone here has been going through many different changes in the last nine years, nine months, nine weeks, nine days, and a cycle is getting ready to complete itself for someone to step into their personal year of number one, the magician. All right, why is Libra's feelings for this person the magician? You feel like you have everything you need to create something with this person. You just need them to be on board too. I am not taking this many cards. It was like eight cards that fell out, but it was the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the King of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Why is Libra's feelings for this person the Magician? Why is Libra's feelings for this person the Magician, please? Why the Magician? Why the Magician? Why the Magician? The Death card. You feel like you have been going through a, a metamorphosis. You've been feeling like you've been going through many transformations. Like, like the Libra you were last year is not the Libra you are today. And you feel like there is a big reason for that. And you're eager to find out if this person is a part of some sort of new start for yourself with that magician. But you're feeling left in the dark with that moon energy because this person's intentions is to leave you in the dark. All right, but you feel like something bigger is happening for you that you don't understand with the star card. You know, you feel like there's some sort of blessing in disguise here that you're needing to be patient about or to see in a different perspective with the hanged man. All right, why is the moon card this person's intentions with Libra this week? This is a very spiritual reading. It feels like it goes beyond just, how does my person feel about me, Badison? No, it, it goes beyond that. There's a huge lesson for somebody here. It's quite beautiful. Ah, um, The King of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands wanted a hot belt. Okay, so someone's intentions is to be mature about something. Um, someone's intending to like plan something wait for something three of wands what's on the bottom the high priestess someone intends to be secretive about some sort of plan or how they feel about something wow to see the high priestess and the moon as intentions this person is definitely keeping a closed mouth not saying anything to you to give you any hints about what's going on inside of them so which leads to the fool being in the blockage if this person is not communicating or being expressive, no new beginning happens, right? Why the fool? Why the fool? Someone may like to be independent, 
because I'm seeing this man going for a walk with his dog on his favorite hiking path and doesn't really need a partner for that. Actually, it looks like a woman. I see nail polish. Oh, men wear nail polish too. It actually looks like my nail polish. <laughs> I'm not dealing with a Libra. Why the fool? Why the fool? The four of wands. Someone's caught between, am I ready for a marriage? Am I ready for a commitment? Or do I want my independence? Do I want to stay single with the fool to the four of wands as the blockage? So Libra, you got somebody that's like feeling familiar with you, feeling like you remind them of home, but at the same time, they're fighting between wanting to be single, non-committal, or giving you a relationship. Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune shows up, that means it's out of your hands. Whatever happens, it's out of your hands, especially with that many major arcanas. When there's that many major arcanas, that's the universe stepping in and orchestrating the whole freaking thing. If two people aren't doing what they need to do, the universe steps in and gets things moving if it's a part of your spiritual lesson to, f to be fulfilled in this lifetime. It's my universal Drano card. All right, if this person's staying freaking stuck, the universe, universal Drano clears up the blockage, gets things moving again, just like a, a clogged sink. So in this person's actions this week is the hermit. They're gonna be quiet this week, but don't let their silence fool you. They're being quiet, but they're thinking a lot. Researching. Why the hermit? Why the hermit? Why the hermit? The sun, major for Leo. They're trying to find clarity. They're trying to get self-aware about what's going on here. They're trying to figure out their feelings. Judgment, the tower, the four of cups. They're trying to figure out if this is something that they're going to regret or if they're pushing away a, an opportunity that could change their life for the better. They really want to understand why they're doing this to themselves, why they push away people. The Empress is the potential outcome this week, but again, I don't feel like this is just for this week. Oh, wow, the Emperor and the Empress and the Seven of Wands. Libra, look at this. The Emperor and the Empress coming out together, that's husband and wife. That's two people understanding that there is a bigger purpose for the re relationship and that it's not meant to be like a friendship. But the Seven of Wands is here, which tells me that there is someone being in their masculine energy pushing the situation away. I say masculine energy, but it could be a female or a male, you know, um, a woman or a man. It's just Seven of Wands is someone very, feeling very defensive about something that's for them, but they weren't ready for it. I don't know. Someone here is pushing the connection away, but you can't push away a connection this strong. You just can't. So in your advice, we had the Page of Swords. I feel like this is your person, but someone here is having trouble with accepting it for some reason, which I don't know. Why the Page of Swords? Why the Page of Swords? King of Pentacles. They want you to get more information because something could be stable and secure, but there needs to be you know, plans discussed. People need to look at themselves and take accountability for their own actions as well, right? Why is the judgment in the lovers the overall energy? Knight of Wands. Someone needs to make a choice. Someone's too in and out with how they feel. Someone's too in and out with how they show up for someone in this relationship and it creates a lot of drama, okay? Someone needs to stop running away from something whether that be you or this person. Someone, I feel like someone was not expecting to feel some sort of way about somebody. Maybe it was the right person, wrong timing, or there's other people involved, all right? So if you're in recent no contact with someone, I'm gonna get their true feelings for you. You could be connecting with an Aries, a Taurus, a Libra, a, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Leo, but it could be any zodiac sign. Oh, and Gemini's here. Would you please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, by the way, Libra. And if you like to book a private reading, the link to my website is in the description box below with this video. And also, I go live every Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hello, get off. For the All Signs reading. So if you want to watch that live, hit the notification bell. I wish I could take back the hurtful things I said. It was wrong to take out my frustration on you. I worry that you've moved on and this is all in my head. Is it? Do you still think of me? I miss your beautiful smile and joyous laugh that used to light up my world. 
Being apart from you has been more difficult than I can accept. Alright Libra, I hope this reading helped. I love you. Until next time, later Gators.